Good morning everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Carousel by Frappi. But before I get to the puzzle, I do want to do finish, uh, call out a couple of things. First of all, the Sven drive. Um, thank you everyone who jumped in to support Sven. Now, I'm not saying to stop supporting Sven. Everyone should support Sven. Sudoku Pad is a wonderful tool that we all use every day to solve puzzles. And um, this is what Sven gets out of it. Now, I've had a lot of chats with Sven about things that are coming um, and there will hopefully be an announcement coming in the next couple of weeks um, about um, things that we're doing um, and things that we'll want to engage with the community about. Um, and I do want to thank some uh, more people who did support Sven during the Sven drive. Um, my list isn't fully up to date, but these are the ones I've got so far. These are the people after the first few days, which I've already announced. So Derek C, Screaming Ice Cube, Kenneth's Dad, Matt, Steve with a Q, FRB, uh, Pyra Phoenix, Go Zappa, Digital Being, Gordon Glenn, Speaker to Lampposts, Smith Interlock, Blue Fern, Andrew, Joel, Santa Claus, thanks Santa, uh, Doris, uh, Bidjik Y and Alex. So all of these people also jumped on board to um, give Sven a donation and thank you so much for doing that. Um, has it meant that I've had to donate right up to my limit and ouch, yes it did. And I am happy with that. that that's that's fine. Um, I'll, I'll find the cash. <laughs> I'll make that happen. So thank you everyone for jumping on and supporting Sven. Now for this next bit, I am going to provide a link to where I start, get back to the puzzle because this next bit could be a bit long. But what I do want to do, and you'll notice that a lot of channels uh, is talk about how you could support Bremster. Now, not just financially. This isn't about only about money, though I will mention that a bit. Um, is... Um, a lot of channels will mention at the start of every video, please like and subscribe and everything. And I do have the banner that pops up and everything, but, um, and they will make a big thing about sponsorship. I refuse, I refuse probably two or three sponsorship, um, uh, deals a, a week. Um, I get contacted by game companies and puzzle companies and everything saying you should work with us and put these sponsorship things in your channel. I don't want to break the flow of my videos. I think what I do works. Would it be profitable? for me yes but that's not what I want to do because I don't think my audience would enjoy it and I'm here for you but that does hurt me on YouTube um, and what I wanted to was talk about just for a couple of minutes about ways that you can support me that will help me keep this channel because I'm not going to change that but how I can keep this channel running as easily as I can first of all if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and please like the videos if you actually like the puzzle or you like what I'm doing um, interact with the videos the comments that are left um, are very appreciative. I do like the comments that I get mostly. Um, and I do try and read all of them that I can. I don't respond to all of them because there's only so many hours in a day and there's a lot to do. Um, but um, yeah, it, interacting with the videos and everything is very important. And this is another thing. Um, the people who do this are probably not going to see this, but if you are someone who opens the video, gets the puzzle link and closes it, that hurts because YouTube sees any short view of a video as, oh, someone opened the video, they didn't get what they wanted, so this per person is being fraudulent to that viewer. Um, and it actually means that YouTube will not promote that channel as much. So if you open the video, hit the link and close the video, then my video is basically flagged as fraud. Um, and I can tell that, like, I, I've seen people, I know other people with other channels in other in other veins, and they will get way more impressions than I do because viewers stay in their videos for like 90 seconds to two minutes, whereas most of the views on my channel, on my uh, videos, are for less than 30 seconds. And that's the first 30 seconds is critical. I mean, the whole thing is critical. I'd love it if you left the video running because watch time is what it's all about. But interacting with the videos, keeping the videos running. That's the number one way you can help. The second way I'd love people to help is submit and recommend puzzles. Um, me getting puzzles that I can actually solve um, from different people 
If you see a puzzle that you think would be good for other people to see, recommend it. Um, my submission guidelines are below or reach out to me on Discord or by the email address below and say, I found this really cool puzzle. Um, and if your submission isn't up to standard, I will probably let you know. It's like, here are my submission guidelines. Here's the minimum I need. Or reach out to people in the community. For which I'd like to say, if you want to talk to people in the community, the other way to do that is join the Puzzle Plaza or Skunk Works. Um, those are the two communities where... Um, I find there is the most engagement about creation of puzzles. There is the most um, engagement about um, the puzzle communities where there is free and open chat. It is the places where I have never been censored. Um, so those two places, joining those and engaging with those communities would be a great, is a good thing as well. You can join my pa onto my Patreon. You can join it for free. And most of the content I post to my Patreon, I don't post there all the time. But when I do post puzzles or I post... Um or if I post news or if someone releases a pack and they tell me about it um, and it's available for free, or if someone releases a book and they tell me about it, even if it's available for purchase, I will post those news updates to my Patreon. I just need to be told about them. Um, and if you want to find out about what, if people, you tell me about these things, I will post those to my Patreon for free. And a lot of people have joined my Patreon as a free place to find out about and discuss things that are happening. Because when there is a post that you can comment on, on my Patreon, that discussion is specific to that event. So if someone releases a book, you can discuss that book in some safety because, um, those discussions aren't going to disappear into the void of if you're just discussing it in a puzzle discussion thread on Discord, once someone talks about something else, that discussion is lost forever. But on those posts, those those posts, the comment threads are going to be about that thing and that's going to stay that way. So hopefully that's helpful. And the other thing people may not know, and this is notice I haven't discussed money yet, is I have another YouTube channel called Bremster Games where I play a lot of video games of many different types. I play story games, I play role playing games. I play action role playing games. I used to do some tabletop role playing and I'd like to get back to that. Um, but basically it's me playing games and just having fun streaming mostly video games. Um, and um, just to subscribe over there, just jump over to Bremster Games um, and hit the subscribe button. Even if you never come and watch me play games because you're not interested in the games I play, just getting subscribers over there would be a huge help to me and would take a lot of stress off. Um, now we can talk about some of the financial ways to support me. Um, first of all, Patreon. Uh, Patreon is my main way of being supported. Um, that is where um, everything comes in helps. Um, so over there, I try. I don't post a lot of Patreon exclusive content. I will admit that. Um, but um, sometimes my paid Patreons will get a sneak preview of something which will then get released for public. I do want to make it clear that with one exception, which I'll get to in a minute, nothing I have released, uh, two exceptions, nothing that I have released for paid members has never been released to the public for free. So um, if I release something to paid members, it will get released for free um, with a couple of exceptions. The couple of exceptions are this. Over on Patreon, I did release some Bremster puzzles as sneak previews, and some of those puzzles were terrible, um, which I, once my paid members saw them, I realized these should never be seen. Um, I didn't pull them from my paid members. I put a warning on the puzzles that the puzzles weren't good enough, and then I never released them to the public. Those puzzles are still there for paid members. Don't look at them. They're terrible. Um, the other thing is when I activated memberships on YouTube, which is the other, another way you can support me, you can become a YouTube member by hitting the join button below. Um, there's a couple of benefits there. The first one is I did release the Sandra Anala Adventures from 2023 as a series of videos, and those are exclusive to YouTube members. However, I did make sure that the Sandra Anala's Adventures pack was available to be seen um, somewhere, and over on a different YouTube channel, Lucian's Place, you can see solves of those puzzles. So I didn't make I made sure that those puzzles could be seen somewhere else before I did that. But if you want to see me solve them, you need to be a YouTube member. It's not worth, I, I did no better than Lucian. So, um, but what you do get as a YouTube member, if you want to support me that way, 
is most of the videos that I post to my channel, I will make early access to, um, to members. So for example, all of my daily videos, I often record up to a week in advance. Members get to see those when I post them, um, whereas they will come out one a day um, to um, to uh, to the public, um, but members will see them when I post them. Sometimes four or five days in advance, sometimes more. The other thing I'm doing is um, I'm hoping to record um, puzzle packs, and I will be as I record those puzzle pack videos, I will release those to members. And then once the puzzle pack is released and the members have had access to them for a couple of weeks, I will then drop those to the public in some format. Um, so they will not stay exclusive content. The only member content I expect to ever stay exclusive is that Sandra and Nala stuff. Um, and then everything else will be member as sneak preview stuff. Um, there is a thanks button down below in YouTube, which you can put at push and just leave a comment. Um, uh, and you can do this on any, um, and any video. If you push the thanks button, you will leave a paid comment, which will highlight your comment, but it's also just a way of saying thank you for the video or thank you for what you do. So if you think a video is particularly good and you really liked it and you want to leave a couple of bucks, you can do it that way. Um, similarly to what Sven has, I have a Kofi page, um, I've, I think I've received like $3 through it ever, but I do have a Kofi page where if people are uncomfortable leaving money through YouTube or Patreon, because Patreon is a monthly subscription, you can go to my Kofi page and you can leave money there. The other thing is you can always buy some of my merch. I think it's incredibly overpriced and probably not worth it, but it is a way that you can support me if you wish to, I don't know. Um, I think the coffee mugs are cool and there's a water bottle available, which I, I'm thinking of getting one of myself, um, which is, but it's, you have to click on the store for that. For some reason, YouTube does not know that the water bottle exists. Um, so there's some cool stuff available and cool ways of supporting me if you wish to. I hate doing these rants about ways of supporting me, um, but hopefully me doing it occasionally is not going to annoy people. But the main focus of this video should be the puzzle. And this is Carousel by Frappy, and I absolutely need a drink. That was a lot of talking. Okay, so let's have a look at Carousel by Frappy. And of course, if anything goes wrong technically, or if I can't solve it, I'm absolutely going to need to edit that in beginning because I'm not going to do all of that again. So um, Carousel by Frappy. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Nightmare. I haven't, I've only seen Nightmare twice in the last year, I think. Cells and knights move apart in chess may not contain digits that sum to either 5 or 15. So what does that mean? So a knight's move is this shape. No, not that shape, this shape. So that is a knight's move. So if this was a chessboard, a knight could move from this position to this position. And any orientation or rotation of that works. So for example, that would be a valid knight's move. That would be a valid knight's move. That would be a valid knight's move. Any two digits at the either end of that shape may not sum to five or or 15. So for example, those two digits could not sum to 5 or 15. Those two digits could not sum to 5 or 15. Those two digits could not sum to 5 or 15. Those two digits could not sum to 5 or 15. Incredibly weird rule and takes a lot to wrap your head around. Then we've got palindromes. I, I'm terrified this is going to be a coloring puzzle. Digits on red and blue lines read the same in either direction. So um, if I use this line for an example, if this was one, two, three, four, it would have to be one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, three, two, one reads one, two, three, four, three, two, one in either direction. And that's the way the line has to work. And that has to work for every line in this puzzle. The red and the blue lines are just used to distinguish the, the different colors, I think, in this box. And a really nice way of delineating the, the palindromes in this middle box. I think it's been really well done. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we've actually got digits on palindromes. This is a three, and this palindrome jumps all the way to here. So this is a three. 
uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the four is actually the middle of the palindrome, but one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, that is a nine, and that gives me those. But I can do the same here. This is a two. This is the other end of that line, so that's a two. This, I assume, is the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. However, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, that's a six. So that's a beginning. Now, I'm assuming Nightmare is going to come into play, but I'm not sure how yet. Okay, so two is over in one of these three cells by Sudoku, but this cannot be a two because that would those two would see each other by knight's move and they would sum to five. So this is not a two. Two here would put two here, and I think that's okay. Hmm, not sure how this is going to kick off. Six is over here. Six cannot see nine by knight's move. So the way it works with nightmare is one can't be a knight's move away from four. Four can't be a knight's move away from one. Two and three can't be a knight's move away from each other. Six and nine can't be a knight's move away from each other. And seven and eight can't be a knight's move away from each other. That's basically the rule. Are there naked singles in this that I can... I don't seem to have a lot to play with. So one and four can't be a knight's move away from each other. So I can't put four in any of those. But that doesn't seem to be doing much. Hmm. So... Three is in one of those, but I can't put three here because three would be C the two. So that's three here would put three here, which would put three down here. And two here would put two here, which would put two up here. Hang on. If this is two, this would be two. Two would have to be in one of those two. Oh, wait a minute. Right, that two jumps over and puts two there because... And this three jumps around and puts three there because putting it at the end puts it on the other palindrome. Of course, these are double, these palindromes are in two lines. So that's not the three. This is the three. That's not the two. That's the two. Why was I so blind to that? These double palindrome cells, I completely missed them. So that, of course, puts three here. And that two, of course, by palindrome puts two here. And now it's going to be about twos and threes for a bit. It's got to be about twos and threes for a bit. Three. This three takes three out of that. This three takes three out of there. So this becomes a three. Three is in one of those, but this two means that can't be a three by no, um, nightmare. So this is the three. Three is in one of those two. Not seeing that yet, but it's probably there. And three is in one of those two. And I'm not seeing that yet either. But I can now continue with twos, I'm imagining. What did I miss with twos? Because I got a lot further with threes. And this feels symmetric. What did I miss with twos? So I put twos over here. So is it... Hang on, what, did I make a mistake here? Oh, two can't be in any of those. So two goes in this corner, which puts two in one of those two. But this two takes two out of there, putting two here. Which means two is in one of those two. And now two is in one of those two. Now, is there a connection between these? Because this isn't a knight's move constraint. This is a nightmare constraint. So if this is a three, this is a two. Because if this is a three, I couldn't put the two there. So the twos and the threes are going to be vertical in these. Which is interesting. So if this is the three, this has to be the two. If this is the three, this has to be the two. So these are going to be in vertical bands, but I don't see how to make that work. So let's look elsewhere. So this digit is this digit and has to go over here. That digit is that digit and has to go down here. What are these digits? Four, seven, eight, nine. Now, so this is four, seven, eight, nine, and this digit is that digit, which is four, seven, eight, no, four, seven, eight, nine. 
and those two digits are the same, and those two digits are the same. Now that, now remember that seven and eight can never see each other by Knight's move. So if this was seven, yellow couldn't be eight because they both see that. If this was eight, yellow couldn't be seven. So this can't be a seven, eight pair. Six can never see nine by knight's move. But I'm not... I am very confuzzled. That can't be a four because it would see a one by knight's move. That can't be a four. So one of these is a four. So one of these two is a four. These do exist from seven, eight, nine. One of those two is a four. One of those two is a four. Now, who I don't know what to do with this. There'll be a fundamental trick that I am missing, the same as always. But seven is in one of those. A seven here would put a seven here. I, I think I should explore this further, but I don't know how. I really don't know how. Well, one in this column now is in one of these two cells. If that's a one, that's a one. Is that right? One, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, if that's a one, that's a one, which would put one up here. If that's a one, I don't know anything. And neither of those see a four. It would be terrible after that intro if I can't solve this. Because these are one, five, six, and eight. Four means these can't be one. So one is in one of these two. So one in one of these two puts... Oh, hang on. One is in one of these two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That can't be a one, though, because one in this column has to go in one of those two, because I can't put a one there because I can't put a one in either of those. So this is the one. Right. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, that is the one. Can I do the same with the four down here? Right, I can't put four up here. Four has to go down here, but four in this box is in one of those two because of those. That is not the four, yellow is four. So yellow is four. So that's interesting. That, that's a really cool trick. And this isn't one. One, two, three, four, five. These are five and seven. Now, seven can never see eight. So if this is a seven, blue would be nine. which it can be because nine can't see six and those don't see six by night's move. This is very strange. So that digit is that digit. So, 
neither of these are one or four because it sees a four and it sees a one. So they can't be one or four. They can't be two, three. So they're not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or nine, I think is all these can be. Now, can I restrict those any further? And that's these digits. So these are five, six, seven, nine. Sees a four, so it can't be a one. It only sees low digits. I don't... Mm, there's something I am missing about this puzzle. Now, this digit is this digit. So this is five, six, or eight. And those two are the same digit, which has to go up here. So there's a seven, eight, nine in here. I can't put a nine there. I can't put a seven there. If it's there, it's an eight. Which would put an eight there. It feels like it's stuff in columns. Put a four there. That's the middle of the line. This is incredibly weird. Seven and eight can't see each other by night's move, but they don't, they, none of these cells see each other by night's move. That digit is that digit. Aha. One in this box is in one of those three cells, because I can't put one there. Is any of these knocked out? No. If I put a one here, that's the middle of the line. If I put a one here, that is, that can't be a one, because if that's a one, that's a one, and I can't do that. So one is in one of those two. And I'm assuming I can do similar with nine down here. No, with... Seven? No, I can't. With four. Four is in one of these. Four here can't go there. So four is in one of these two. So... I can't put four there. And I put four in any of those. Yes. So four in this row is restricted to those three. One in this row is restricted to those three. If I put four here, one... I really don't get it. If... So are these more restricted? I Wow, this is mind-numbing. Or simple and I'm blind. If this is nine, this is nine, this is nine. Because nine has to go in one of these three. Nine, nine, nine. Would that restrict six too much? This is the problem with Nightmare. The restrictions are really hard to see. I can see one is in one of those two. Which doesn't restrict four that much at all. Three is in one of those. Oh, that's right. Two and three are going to look down... One is not in, uh, I've already got one not in. Well, one's not here. One is not here. One is not here. So one is in one of those three. 
Can I knock one out of there somehow? Because one can't be here because of that four. One can't be here for no reason whatsoever. Why did I say one can't be there? That was complete and utter nonsense. Where is this? That digit is that digit. And therefore is one of those two digits. So it's one of those two. And similarly, that digit is that digit. Oh, okay. So this is green because that digit is that digit has to be, therefore it has to be one of those two digits by Sudoku, but it can't be that digit because that digit is that digit and they see each other. So that is green. So this is orange. So this is five, six, seven, nine, and this is five, six, seven, nine. And orange isn't seven because it's C7, and green isn't 5. So these are 5, 6, 9. Okay, so that's an extra restriction I found. Uh, too much colouring. So, oh, this could never be 8, because it's C7. And there was probably something similar down here. Although that's a five, but this could never be eight. So eight is in one of those two. And I don't see how these translate into here. This is the weird thing. These are the same digit. Holy cow. This, oh, green can't be seven because it sees eight. So green is only six or nine, which is really powerful. Because a 6-9 can't see another 6 or, or it can't, uh, whichever one it is, can't see the opposite. By night's move. So if I could make it see something. Is there something in orange? Because these don't see each other by night's move. Like, I can't see a place where green and orange see sees each other by night's move. That doesn't see an orange by night's move. That doesn't see an orange by night's move. That doesn't see an orange by night's move. And this could be that, that, or that. And this could be that, that, or that. If... If this is nine, if these are nine, so say green is nine, nine would go in one of those, one of those, I feel like I'm doing this badly. That would be nine. Green can't be nine. Because if green was nine, where would it go in this column? It'd have to go there, which would reflect to there, and I'd have two nines. Green is six, which means orange isn't six. This is a five, taking five out of those, which means yellow isn't five. This is a six, eight pair. Six can't see nine by night's move. 
but I've got those now. So can I do anything with sixes? So six in this box. Okay, can't be there because it would reflect it there and it sees a six. Can't be there, it would reflect it there and sees a six. So six is in one of those two. So this is an eight and yellow is six. This is really, really intricate. I'm assuming I can do similar over here, although this one had a lot more freedom because that's a five, and five has no night uh, nightmare. I say, keep saying knights move. It's nightmare constraint. This is a long video, but a lot of that, I think, has to do with the intro I did. So these are all the same. I'm going to change them from orange to a color that I'm more comfortable with. So nine in this box now, it can't be in either of those two. It's, it's got to be a, the trick on these palindromes. I think I've got more, although that's the central digit on the palindrome. So one in this box is restricted to those cells now. Hang on, that's six. Six can't be there. This is the six. No, this is the six. I can remove the blue. No, just remove the blue. Okay. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. So that's the central cell, which doesn't help me much. But is there any of these I can remove by nightmare? Four can't see one by night's move. Seven can't see eight by night move. These are the same digit and I'm still haven't been able to reduce them down. This is so strange. Okay, these digits, they can't be one, they can't be two, they can't be three, they can't be four, they can't be five, they can't be six. They can be seven or eight only, because they can't be nine. Is there any, they can't be seven. This has been here for ages. So those digits are the same. No one, no two, no three, no four, no five, no six, no nine. There's seven and eight, and the eight means they can't be seven. Those are eights, which takes eight out of both of those making that an eight. So this is a seven or a nine. The eight. So I have to put a seven or a nine in one of these. Can I do the same here? Right, that's that. So it can't be seven. So this is four or five. And it can't be four. These are five, which takes five out of those. Basic palindrome logic. And I missed it. So these can't be one, two. Th well, actually, this is a triple in the column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are four, seven, and nine. That's not seven. So this is a four or a nine. Right. Nine can't see, and this sees a six, so it can't be a nine. These are both fours. So that's not a four. So this and this are the same digit. Man, I'm finding this tricky because these are both not blue.
Sorry, I... Oh, this five makes yellow nine. There you go. Which means green is seven and blue is nine. This is why the coloring was confusing me because I had two colors that meant the same thing. These are now one and five. One can't see four by night's move, but I don't have that happening. This row is missing one, five, and seven. So these are one, five, and seven. Seven can't see eight by night's move. One can't see four. Not sure. But seven is in one of those two. So seven is in one of those two. Eight is in one of those two. No. Where's eight in this box? Unless I've messed it up, that's an eight. Because I can't put eight in any of those. I can't put eight in any of those. That's a four, seven. That's an eight, which makes that an eight. Now eight has to be down here, making that an eight, which puts eight up here, which makes that an eight. Is that all the eights just placed? An eight can't see seven by night's move. So seven in this box is here. And this is now the four and this is the one because of the four looking down, which means this is the five and this is the one. This is so clever. And I still haven't resolved the two. Yes, I no, I have. Uh, mm. No, I haven't resolved the two threes. Something's going to break that open. I don't know what. I'll find it later. It will happen eventually. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, these are four, five, seven. Four, five, seven goes in there and there's no four, five. So this is the seven. This is the four. This is the five. These are one and nine. And the nine makes that the one and that the nine. I still think I'm okay by night's move. This is a one, two. I'm looking for a three or a four that looks in at that, and I'm not seeing it. One, two, three, seven. And that can't be a seven because the seven would mean that they would sum to 15. So that's the three, that's the seven. The three means that can't be the two. So that's the one, that's the two. The three looks up making that the three, and the three means that can't be the two. So that's the two. Man, this is clever. The one and the seven means that's the five, uh, and the one and the five means that's the seven. These are one, no, not one and two. They're one, two, three, one and four. And of course, the one means that's the four and that's the one. The five looks up making that the seven. One, two, three, four, five. These are four and five. I'll use the four to make that the five and that the four. And now I'm down to a single box. Even I should be able to do that. The one looks up saying that's not the one. Two, three, four, five goes in there. Six goes there because I've got sixes looking at the other cells. These are seven and nine, and I'll use the given nine to make that the seven and that the nine, and that is the correct solution. 28 minutes, 41 seconds. Pretty happy with that. Carousel. Na, 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 na. Really, really cool. Whether that's a good enough reason to think that you need to support Bremster, either for nothing or... With some cash, that's completely up to you. And I, del I, even the non-financial ways of supporting me mean a lot. Liking and subscribing, um, rec submitting and recommending puzzles, so big. Um, joining Puzzle Plaza or Skunkworks, joining my Patreon for free, or going over and subscribing to Bremster Games, absolutely stunning ways of doing it. Joining my Patreon as a paid member would be phenomenal. Joining YouTube as a member, phenomenal. Um, hitting the thanks button on videos that you think are particularly good and dropping a couple of bucks. Um, literally, you know, just that way you don't have a, a renewed subscription or anything or doing the same over on coffee. Or if you really want to be insane, buy some merch. Okay, um, that, that's the insane way of doing it. All of those would be a huge way to benefit the channel. And, but um, as I said, do not spend, I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Do not spend money on Bremster Puzzles or on me if you are in any way financially hard up. Don't do it. 
I, I would prefer it if you didn't, which is why I have so many free options and why I don't hide packs and everything like that behind even a couple of bucks. I, I will not do it because I know not everyone can afford it. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you for all the support and the, the benefits I get from all of the people who do watch. Um, I've recently hit 4,000 subscribers after publishing over 1,100 videos. Um, it's like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, a lot of work has gone into this channel, but uh, for seeing the subscriber count goes up really does make my day. Um, I'm never going to be huge. I'm never going to get one of those silver plaques or anything. And I know that, but uh, it's, 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 a, it's just nice to see this happen. Um, thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.